What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas Pro 16 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you guys exactly how to edit better and faster in Vegas Pro 16. So if you're wondering how to speed up your workflow, edit better and faster in general, I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that right after the intro. guys my name is Alex welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 wait a minute what's going on guys my name is Alex welcome back to a brand new video this is the full walkthrough of Vegas Pro 16 the program released today as you're watching this the software is now out for you to to check it out to edit videos with to uh, purchase the full license or upgrade from Vegas 15 to 16 if you want to have like a huge discount and I am super excited on this because I've been announcing this and I've been teasing you guys for weeks on Twitter like who's ready for Vegas Pro 16 and this is the official version. We're gonna walk through it step by step so you guys can get started on Vegas Pro 16. What is new? What kind of new features are in? But before we start, I want to give a big shout out to Magix, the creators of this program for hooking me up with an early access copy to, you know, uh, share my feedback and to obviously create tutorials in because this season is going to be huge. I will bring back the quality of the previous tutorials as usual. Just every episode will have a face cam just like this. So many other cool things are coming up. So make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I would say let's get started. So with that all the way, this is Vegas Pro 16. The layout is not really that different from Vegas Pro 15, but the added features are insane. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the basic. You want to obviously, when you're editing videos, you need a video track and an audio track. So it all works the same as Vegas 15. So on this zone, we're gonna right click and we can insert an audio track and we can insert a video track. Now what I noticed is that once you create those tracks, all those icons are hidden. They're not gone, they're just hidden. So what you want to do to make sure to you know pop them out again is you want to click on these three stripes and you want to click on edit visible button set. You want to click on show all, click on OK, and then you want to do that for the same for the audio track. So click on show all and as you can see all the icons are back and also below the preview screen click on the same button this one show all click on okay and now the icons are back okay so now that we have the kind of layouts the same a very cool thing that they added also in the previous version is that you can change the whole look of the program because people say like Alex how do you have it so dark or how do you have it so light it's very very simple if you go to options you want to click on preferences then you want to pick display yeah it is display and right here you can choose the like the the interface type so I would just have it on dark but you can for example if you're used to the Sony Vegas Pro 13 look you can just pick for example light you want to click on OK but then you need as you can see you need to restart the entire program so that's what you can do you can also just change the tints of the entire screen Okay, so now that those settings are just, you know, those are the basic settings, now they're back. You guys have probably have like a ton of questions like, are my render settings gone? Are my color correction presets gone? No guys, if you have Vegas Pro 15, everything will be automatically transferred into this program. If you guys want to see a video on, on like the best render settings for Vegas Pro 16, that video is coming anyway. But if you want to see that one, make sure to drop a comment like, like Alex, please make a video on the best render settings. So if you're finished editing your video, you always want to make sure that your project video properties settings are matching your render settings. So when you click on this like little wheel, and as you can see right here, if you click on the drop down menu on the template, right here, the settings are gone, but your render settings remain still the same. So if you want to go ahead and, you know, optimize this, uh, we're going to do that in another video. So we're not going to do this. This is just a walkthrough of what is new and what is improved. So that is basically what we will talk about in the next video. Okay, moving on to the next thing. If you go ahead and click on project media tab, this is just where your footage will be. If like any footage that you import it, the Explorer is basically how you can import your footage from your desktop or your libraries transitions is kind of new as you can see if we click for example on 
uh, this Dissolve one, those icons are a little bit different than the Vegas, you know, Pro 15 icons. They're updated. They gave like a little more, you know, of an awesome twist to it. Very, very nice. So those icons are looking like a little bit different, but the transitions and everything, they just remain the same. So if you go to the video effects tab, the next one, as you can see, all those icons as well are just uh, updated. And as you can see, if you go ahead and, for example, go to the color correction tab, all your color correction presets are still in there. You don't need to make them all over again. They just automatically go into Vegas 16. Hello, I'm Gary Rebholtz, and I'm proud to introduce Vegas Pro 16. Over the past two years, we've made significant changes to Vegas Pro, and with version 16, we implement some of the features that you've told us that are most important to you. Motion tracking, along with flexible masking tool, so that for the first time, masking out a moving object or applying a video filter to obscure a moving face is easy to do right inside Vegas. Now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, I have two clips that I'm going to show you guys how to make the automatic motion tracking happen. So the first clip is basically this driving car, as you can see. And what we're going to do is really simple is we're going to make the headlights. Well, one of them, we're going to make them shine really bright, make that light a lot brighter. So we're going to start off with the first thing. So in previous versions, when you didn't have this feature, you had to manually do everything frame by frame. That's a really great thing that they just added this feature. So what we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to make sure that we will duplicate this clip so that we have two clips of the same one. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mute the lower one and then we're going to go to the video effects tab and then we're going to pick obviously the new feature which is Beezer masking. Now we want to go ahead and pick for example this one or the circular one. You can just pick any shape that you like. We're going to just pick this circle and we're going to drag that on top of the top one. Now, as you can see, this is pretty new. You want to make sure that you will mask out the thing that you want to have motion tracked. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to place our square around this light. And then what you want to do, I'm just going to make this a little bit thinner. Then this menu is pretty new. So right here you have the general options. That's like you can choose the blend and everything. You want to keep that on zero. And then you want to click on mask one. And the really cool thing is that you can obviously, you know, choose like the feather type and everything like that. And then we're going to click on tracking. Now, as you can see right here, it says start. And that means that this plugin is going to track the entire object that you have selected through the entire clip. If I click on start, as you can see, it is adding keyframes really, really, really fast. And that is the automatic motion tracking. Now, if that is done, it will take a few seconds. Do you see all those keyframes at the bottom? You have to imagine that without this function, you have to place all these keyframes one by one. That's just gonna take such a long time. So this is very, very time saving. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the opacity of the lower clip. And now we're gonna add some brightness and contrast to it so we can actually make that light light up quite a bit. So I'm gonna go to the brightness and contrast. Let's see where it is. Here it is. I'm gonna pick the default one, drag it on top of the top one. We're gonna bring up the contrast and the brightness quite a bit as you can see like that. So if I bring up the contrast as well, this is how epic it looks. And this, it looks like this light is shining really, really bright. So if I play it back, this is the end result of the automatic motion tracking feature. This looks so neat. Are you guys ready for this? Because this is just mind blowing and this is what we've come to create.
Now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, as you can see, I just filmed a clip of a bench that was, you know, nearby. We're going to make text appear on that white part of the bench. So it's going to be really, really simple and really time saving as well, because you could not do this uh, in Vegas Pro 15, but now you can in Vegas Pro 16 and you're going to save quite some time. Okay, so this is the clip as you can see. You see all those leaves, you know, moving because of the wind. So this is basically where we're going to position our text and our images. So we're going to start off go by going to the video effects tab and we're going to go to the top one, which is going to be the Beezer masking right here. Then we're going to go ahead and drag on the default one on top of our clip. This box appears and that is basically the box we need to go ahead and adjust so we can select only the area where we want the text to be appeared. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do it like that. We're going to make it a little bit thinner and then we're going to turn it just a little bit sideways to the right until it is actually fitting onto the actual screen. This is basically the position that Vegas is going to track it. So then if you have selected the area, go to mask one, and then you want to go ahead and click on tracking, and you want to go ahead and make sure that you're at the beginning of your video track. Then you want to go ahead and make sure that it is nice and adjust it. And then you want to just go ahead and you want to click on start. Now, as you can see at the bottom, it is automatically creating keyframes. And that's basically the whole tracking. Now you guys are wondering like, okay, now I know how to track things, but how do I attach text and images, etc., onto it? So it's really, really simple. Now all the keyframes are made. We're going to click on this X icon. You would go ahead and click on tools. And then you want to pick scripting and right here it would says add text to motion track. But as you can see in my version, it doesn't say add text to motion track. And that is because a script was missing. So there are basically two options. One, if you guys have that one, add text to motion track. If you click on there, you will be asked, you know, to type in the text and you basically want to position it on the actual, uh, as you can see, masked area. But if you don't have add text to motion track, I will leave a download link in the description so you can download this guy, the copy motion track to PIP. And that's basically what we need to do. So if you have that, you know, script, if you have that in your project, that's great. You can skip this entire step. But if you don't have that one, you can just follow along. So we're going to do this the other way. So we're going to click on media generators. We're going to pick the standard text. We're going to go ahead and drag that guy on top of our, as you can see, timeline. Then we're going to type in the text we want to have motion track, obviously. So I'm just going to type in motion track. Then what we're going to do is we're going to close this out and we're going to resize this guy quite a bit. So we're going to click on the track motion icon, the white one, and then we have this box. And if you go to the corners, you can actually resize this. So you can also go ahead and click on right here, source alpha, put this one to 3D source alpha. Then those four boxes are appearing. See If you adjust this one, you can put this one in sort of like a like a 3D mode ish thing. And then you can actually adjust it. So it looks like it's stuck on the bench. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, as you can see, like that. And then what you also can do is you can go ahead and uncheck the bees you're masking for a second like this. So your entire screen becomes visible. So then you can just go ahead and adjust it and make it, an, as you can see, like that 3D. It, so it looks like it's on the bench like that. So now that we have done that, we can just go ahead and actually click on the generated media button. So we can just add in a little bit like, for example, like shadow. So if you check the shadow, as you can see, it, like we have some shadow on the bench that looks really, really nice. So now that we've done that, we can adjust the shadow just a little bit, like, for example, like this. Boom, that looks great. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that the text is going to follow this white part of the bench. Now that's where this option comes in. And then the last thing you need to do is go to video effects and you want to scroll down until you see picture in picture effect. Drag that only, only on top of the text like that. And then you just need to adjust it a little bit. So now that we've done that, the last thing you need to do in order to make that text go along is hold left control, hold also the only the video and the text both at the same time, click the tools, scripting and then you want to pick copy motion track to PIP and if I play it back as you can see now the text is actually following the bench it is that simple guys so that's how you do it with text and it works exactly the same with 
images. So guys, that's how to do it. Thank you so much for the continued support. I will catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously on the channel very, very, very soon. So I'll see you guys in my next video.